Gates has been looking into this disturbing case. According to Sheriff Ed Gonzalez, the children were found with signs of physical harm and they were malnourished. They are also expected to endure a long recovery after being rescued from such a horrific environment. KPRC2 investigator Mario Diaz continues our live team coverage and spoke with a psychologist about this case. Mario? Hey, Dominique, I spoke with a psychologist as well as other experts, and they were all taken aback with the details over what was discovered here behind me 24 hours ago. And this recovery is going to be a lifelong process for them. Houston psychologist Stacy Passe weighing in on a case that has sent shockwaves across our area. What these boys are going to need right away is a very basic physiological sense of safety. While we do know the three siblings are being protected by the state, there is no clear picture yet by investigators regarding Gloria Williams, the woman listed as a parent or guardian on the notice of removal. She is also listed on truancy records. Elif ISD tells KPRC2 investigates there are two cases of truancy involving the children, but they have not been registered since May 2020. George Ford is the former executive director of Harris County Protective Services. He has reviewed cases like this one before. Occasionally that, that will be someone will uh, leave someone with a caretaker and um, for whatever reason that caretaker can't carry out the duties and the child ends up getting hurt. Failure. This is how Randy Burton, founder of Houston-based Justice for Children, sums up this case. One that may result in charges stiffer than child neglect. It could be a negligent homicide, but if a child dies in your care, it's a, at a minimum a third degree felony. Investigators say child neglect is one of the primary charges they are looking at, but they must wait on autopsy results to see if additional charges are warranted. And again, we do not know if investigators have spoken to the woman who is listed as a custodial guardian on the document issued by the state. Live in A-Leaf tonight, Mario Diaz, KPRC2, investigate.